I'm going to video a bit more because there's so much going on, so much activity with insects, butterflies, flies, gnats, bees. Oh God, I've just looked up at that moth. And, oh, I, if I'm not, if I'm very unlucky, I'll, I would have done my neck in again because what happened a couple of weeks ago, I was in extreme pain for 24 hours after I put my neck slightly out. Um, video in the red arrows when they went up high and I bent my neck back too far and I just more or less done that then right under that tower there so if I get a bad neck tonight I'll know it's that because you don't always what's weird about it you don't always feel it at the time it's subtle but I thought, oh no, video this lane. This is beautiful. This is the English countryside here. This is the English countryside. So I've just come from that way. I'm going around in a big circle. Well, it might not be a circle. It might be an oval. It might be a rectangle. But it's roughly circular. I've, uh, <clears throat> what happened now, probably the uh, car to go. I've done more than I thought I would, I would do. I have videoed more than I even intended. Tell the truth. I didn't intend to. I wasn't going to hardly do any video in at all. And right in the distance is a trick point. There it is, look. Somebody sat on it. Long way, isn't it? That's how far I'd have to walk if I'm going to do that particular hike. It really depends on where the cows are and if there are any cows. Yeah, I remember this hike. I've done it a few times, but it can be quite bumpy. I've got my trekker shoes on. Which are fine in the summer, and I have found them much better for my heels. My heels have improved since I've stopped wearing walking boots, believe it or not. My feet will still ache later. They will still ache. Yeah, God, I hope I haven't done my neck in. I was in absolute agony. Um, I had to have, like, painkillers, you know, paracetamol, aspirin. Um, and in the end, I put on... Um, the only thing that cured it in the end, and that took 12 hours, was um, a heat pad. <sighs> Wearing the heat pad for 8 to 12 hours. I put two heat pads on to my neck. And it, and it cured it, and it's done it to my hips. I, I swear by um, these heat pads. <sighs> it's a bit like Deep Heat Company do them. And they really do the trick. I mean, I had long soak in a, in a warmish bath. Uh, last time I hurt my neck. I did exercises. That I, I've injured my neck in the past when my German Shepherd Louis pulled me too much on the lead and yanked my neck. And I was, I had bad neck for months and months. And I had, phys, I had to have physiotherapy. And the Chinese physiotherapist showed me how to do these neck exercises. And uh, that's what I did. Painkillers don't really do anything as such. They take the edge off. Oh yes, yeah, loads of cows. I ain't going that way. Look at all those cows over there. Unless he's bringing them in to be milked, of course. Could be that time, couldn't it? That's the farmer, and the farm's down there, say. He could be bringing them in to be milked. In which case, I could go down that way. I haven't decided yet. 
I half want to go straight across because that was the plan I'll see what he's doing with those cows because there's no way I'll go in a field with cows again especially after watching that program last night with a woman who got trampled she was very lucky I mean she got broken bone loads of bad bruising um, ble cuts um, very very shaken very very shaken up by it and she would have been killed if her friend hadn't saved her now she'd been in without those cows quite a few times so just because you've been in with them once and they seemed okay something spooked them she did have a small dog with her and her friend it got attacked as well but she her friend managed to drag her out oh, look at that look at all that color as you go along you go along you're surrounded by beauty and there's a huge herd of cows over there look see they were moving quite fast a minute ago they seem to have changed direction again now that's a bull having his way then then sort of going in circles really for a minute they look like they're moving away and now they look like they've uh, they, get, they look they look a bit disturbed what these platforms are for bird watchers don't know where the farmer went but I, those cows don't look settled they look like they you might have to go down there of course I'd have to go quite near them and they're, they're moving back again look they're moving back now there's no way I'm going in that field they're in that field see no I won't bother I'll do the long way the lo it might not be long actually it might not be any longer all I'm doing is going straight across the top Yeah, they they look they don't really know they look to me like they don't know where they're going. They're sort of going in one direction, then changing. They're not settling at all, but they're mo they are moving that way. They are moving downfield, which is well, they would chase me, I know they would. Uh, they look the sort. They're very they're very lively. So anyway, this is Sheila. What's happening in the world? Well, it's mainly World Cup. The tennis is on, of course, but I've decided I can't watch the tennis and the football. I can't engross myself in both. So I'm not really taking much notice of the tennis this year. Um, Andy Murray can't do it anyway because he's had hip surgery this year. He ain't really re recovered yet from that. Um, I do like uh, some of the players the Spanish one I can't remember his name now but he's good but um, no I'm not getting into it this year I don't want to be glued to telly all the time I've watched all the World Cup every match I've watched and uh, so I like to see all the teams we don't see them all that often really you would if you had Sky because you can get all the programmes but um, we see players that play for English clubs, of course, when it's the leagues on. We get to know some of their players that way. Of course, I got the sticker book at Zara got me, actually. I've had been obliged to fill it up. And basically what it is, um, I'm doing quite well, but you keep getting loads and loads of repeats now. So what I'm doing is um, I'm going to order. I'll probably order all... Um, all, all the gaps I've got I've got quite a few English gaps actually and some of the people aren't there's a card for them but they're not actually playing either so there's a bit of a problem I don't know what they do about that 
the young boy Arnold, for example, he's not um, got a card as far as I know. Unless they're going to bring one out. See, there's the herd of cows in there. I'll just zoom in a minute. I think it might show. It's very sunny, though. There's a herd of cows in there. Behind those grasses. A big herd. Uh, they look like they could run for England. Um, and they're, they're not settled. What I call settled cows. They're moving, changing direction and moving. Uh, and um, they look unsettled if you know what I mean and in a minute there's a style and if I wanted to go to Longwood now this way I'd have to go through that field with those those restless cows so I ain't, I ain't doing it that was just one of the plans I mean there is a way I can get around it I know I can go um, get through it on another gate if I really wanted to further along but look at them. They're very hot as well and they haven't really got any shade. I do feel sorry for them. A couple of them have already heard me. They're looking over. They'd follow me. God, they'd run. Uh, the shade is where I would have to walk to down through the valley. Now once before I managed to um, get past them, I kept over that side of the field over there, I kept over there and walked all the way along that side and kept my head down they were all moving up this way you see they, they were moving away from this area and moving up like they seem to be doing but they can change direction so quickly and I just wondered if they're due to be milked because wait, they seem to be waiting at that gate I mean, if they were going to go in to be milked now, it would be a perfect opportunity for me to dive through that field, you see, and do the long wood, the long wood route back. Now, the last time I came up on the area of Outstanding Beauty, it, it, I called it Purple Haze. When I came out of Robera Warren, which is a wood, I was greeted by a landscape of purple. It was bluebells. Thousands and thousands and thousands of them. Right, I'm going to turn off now. As I reckon they're waiting for that farmer to come back to open that gate. That's my theory. Because they're gathering by that gate. Look, they're all moving towards that gate. They did that a minute ago and then they moved back again. I don't know where that farmer went either. Over and out.